Hi, this is Eric. Uh, this video is about the two wide lenses with OV2640. I'm working on various projects with VSP32 cam. Depending on the project, the focal length and the angle of the lens may need to be changed. Uh, because of one of my projects, I had to buy some wide angle lenses with OV2640 image sensor attached. Uh, when you purchase ESP32 cam, it includes the OV2640 with mini lens which has 62 degrees in the field of view. You can easily change the built-in lens module to the new one. So I will test a total of three lenses including the built-in one. Uh, I hope you can find the proper lens for your project. Let's check out the simple specs first. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't have a data seat for the 160 degree wide angle lenses I bought. Uh, there was no information on the page I purchased. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, anyhow, in wide angle lenses, uh, making the distance from the subject as short as possible causes the central area to grow and stand out, such as better distance. Uh, on the other hand, if you take a pictures of distant landscapes, uh, you will see a phenomenon called a pin cushion distortion, which is getting farther and farther away from the center. And these phenomena occur more severely as the angle of view increases due to the shorter lens focal length. Let's compare the photos I took using ESP32 with wide angle lenses after taking a look at an OV2640 first. Uh, most of the products on the market are glued to prevent the lens from being separated. Uh, to tear down the lens from the image sensor, you need to use a tool like uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, when you turn it with force a little bit, uh, the glue falls off and slowly turns. You have to be careful not to break it. Mm, this OV2640 is a 2 megapixel, 1 fourth inch CMOS UXGA image sensor, referring to a resolution of 1600 by 1200 pixels. The entire system on a chip has low power requirements uh, that is uh, particularly suitable for IoT applications. This product can reach up to 15 frames per second at the full resolution and up to 30 frames for SVGA and 60 frames for CIF. I prepared this for a simple experiment. I have a ruler below to check the distance between the subject and the camera. Uh, the subject is the lens testing printed for checking the focus on the wall. I'm gonna move by 1 inch from 3 inches up to 12 inches and see what it looks like through each lens. Uh, using the built-in lens, the camera needs to be at a certain distance from the subject to focus. Instead, there is a little distortion of the surrounding area. That's good. Uh, around 7.5 inches seems to be the minimum object distance with the focus. So, when you make some product with this lens, you need to consider this length to the target. If not, you will get a very blurred image. For your information, all images resolution is UXGA. It looks good. Okay. Let's move to the next. I'm changing the lens. Uh, this is a 120 degree wide angle lens. Uh, as the angle of view has become wider, I think the closer object will be clear in the short distance focus. Uh, let's see how it looks like. As you expected, it's fisheye lens. In the 3 inch far from, it looks like it's in focus. Uh, and the surrounding area is very distorted. Uh, it seems there is a need for the distortion correction depending on the project. Uh, it's now possible to photograph a much wider area than the previous lens. Also because of the short minimum object distance, this lens appears suitable if you need to focus on the center point of the nearest subject. Uh, 
Uh, this time, it's a 160-degree wide-angle camera module. It's less distorted than the previous 120-degree wide-angle. Uh, the official focal length is unknown, but it looks shorter than the previous one. So around 6 inches away, it looks like the center is in focus. You can take a wider picture than any other lens. It would be good to use it as a surveillance camera. Let's try to film with each lens. I used the app called Dashcam that I created in one of my previous projects to connect ESP32 cam directly from the Android phone. You can easily connect and view images with the Wi-Fi equipment. Please check if you are interested. Uh, there is a reader reflected in the window. Sorry, I couldn't open it. This shows a clear difference. Uh, you can see that the view varies a lot depending on the angle of the view and also they have a different F number. I wish I had a data set. Uh, anyway, it was a very simple experiment with a couple of ranges for OV2640. I hope this video was helpful for your ongoing or future project. Thank you. See you in the next project. Thank you.